Hello everyone. It's been a long time. Long time no see. It's been a while since I made uh, videos here lately because I've been uh, been pretty busy. I have a lot of things going on now. But uh, I want to make this video in response to um, a comment on how to learn language.com forum. A guy asked me about the resources I use for Japanese, so I want to uh, make a video just to show him or anyone else who's interested in the resources I use for Japanese. Okay, so first of all, what do we have on the top? I have this book. I have this book here, Eikaiwa Fuleizu. I got this from a Japanese buddy um, several years ago. All in Japanese, Japanese phrases. It was actually from English, you know, Japanese people were learning English and have some good phrases in there in Japanese, so it's a pretty good book. Alright? And I have this English Japanese dictionary. I've only used it I've only used this a couple of times. I have some better dictionaries I recently purchased. This Japanese for professionals, brand new book I just purchased. A lot of technical terms here, of job related. Very good. And perhaps many of you are familiar with these series, the Kanz and Master series. Bought this uh, from the JapanBookshop.com. This is like content for level two. Another Kanzen Master Series for uh, JOPT Level 1. Some good stuff. Okay. And of course, we have Kanzen Master for JOPT Level 3. I took this test uh, last year and passed it, so this year I'm going to go take Level 2, and perhaps the year uh, next year I'll go take Level 1. We'll see. Okay. And for those of you who are anyone who's studying Japanese, even if you're on a beginner's level, you should own this book here. Okay. It's not advanced Japanese grammar, it's like intermediate, lower advanced or it's um, high beginner beginners to intermediate uh, grammar. It's really good. So if you even if you're a beginner, you should own this book. Shams Japanese grammar. Really good. Okay get this book. I have this book here. My wife and I went to Taiwan. Got this there. It's a Japanese upper intermediate going to advanced level. It's pretty good. It also comes with a CD. As you can see. Okay. So this is good stuff. And I have this book here. Oh, it's kind of beat up. It's uh, Nelson, the new Nelson Japanese English Character Dictionary. Japanese English Character Dictionary. So basically, if there's a kanji you don't understand, you can just refer back to this chart. And they have like the radicals stroke order, and they tell you the page number to find that character whichever character you have problems with. It's pretty beat up. It's a good book. And, of course, I have my Kotowaza, my Japanese idioms. I love idioms. From Barons, it's pretty good. I have another Japanese basic idiom book from Kodansha. And if you see Kodansha on the front, we know it's, it's serious, it's really good. Some serious firepower there. This book, which I've just purchased, A Dictionary of Advanced Japanese Grammar. Very good book. Very good. A lot of advanced grammar here. It's good stuff. And I got this from J the Japan shop as well. Okay. Dictionary of Advanced Japanese Grammar. And best diction best Japanese dictionary I've ever used. Kodansha's Communicative 
English to Japanese Dictionary. It's really good. Also from Japan Bookshop. Really good book. Okay. If you don't have this, make sure you study Japanese. Get this book here. It's the best dictionary you could ever have. Okay. And I have this one also. Don't ask me why I bought two dictionaries, but you know I do things like that. This is a, pretty much a same. Kodan Cha's Furigana Japanese Dictionary. So it's from Japanese to English, English to Japanese. If you guys can see that. Okay. So that's that. Okay. I have this book here. Uh, I had a, a buddy of mine. So he was laying around his house. He wasn't using it. He just, you know, he let me have it. But it's, 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 it's good. It, it, it's, I'll say, um, beginners to low intermediate. It can take you to like the beginners, low intermediate level. I'll say. Okay. So that's pretty much all of the resources I use for Japanese. Now I use some other resources on the internet, but um, mainly it's output, you know, I, I, a lot of output, I chat a lot online and stuff, so that's where I get all my experience. You got to think of this as an RPG, this is Final Fantasy, this is, uh, you know, leveling up, you have to level up, so that's why output is important, okay? So of course you want to get the, the adequate resources. And then uh, the next important thing is finding places where you can practice the language. So there are no shortcuts if that's what you're looking for. No shortcuts, okay? Just hard work, dedication, and with that, that will get you to a good level. Now my Japanese probably, you know, I'll say like low advanced level. And um, in order to go to a higher level, then you want to get to that high advanced level. You start doing like a lot of translation, uh, complex text, uh, some newspapers and watching news and whatnot. Okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta come out of your comfort zone. Okay. Now it, it, it all depends on your it all depends on your goal, what you what you're trying to do. Now if you plan if you go into the country soon and you want to study as hard as you can. If you're not going to the country anytime soon, just just try to study until you get to like an intermediate level, you know, upper intermediate level and just, you know, stick with that level. If you, you know have any plans on going to the country for a while. Especially if you're a polyglot and you learn other languages, I mean, there's really no need to uh, just get on a, com a comfortable level where you can communicate, you know, basic fluency until you get ready to go to the country. I, I explained that in my uh, previous videos. You know, that's what my goal is. My goal is just to be able to get to a level to where um, I'm able to communicate. You know, I can communicate fluently, basic, you know, basic fluency. You know. Until, that, until until I'm able to go to the country, so that's what I do. And those resources I use, the resources I just showed you, um, it can get you to like a high, intermediate, low, advanced level. Okay. Of course, you have to do some other stuff, uh, translating and all that, whatnot. But uh, those resources will get you to that, you know, upper, intermediate, low, advanced level. So, um, yeah, those are good books. And if you guys need me to post up links for the books I bought. I can do that, just let me know, and uh, I will do that. And uh, what else? Um, I haven't made any videos lately. Um, I'm excited for making this video. And, uh, my next video will be um, Estonian. I've been studying Estonian for about a week now and learned a lot. And I'm going to make my introduction, in introduction video probably if either next week or the week after. I'm going to spend some more time practicing. Okay? So, um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I might make another video, just give you guys a quick Japanese lesson or whatnot. We'll see. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, and I'm, I'm good at responding, so I'll respond. I'll see you guys soon.